Going mobile, let's see how this goes. Hi, I'm Irina. My name is Victoria. Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Nianta. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about study tips, tricks of the trade. Some stuff has worked for me and I really hope that maybe it would work for you too. Plan your time. So be aware of how long it's going to take you to research. Write the first draft, write the second draft, fix the bibliography. So what I like to do is really try to figure out how I'm going to access all the different readings at the start of the term. The library is a phenomenal resource at the University of Westminster. There's so much stuff that you have access to. You are not alone in your endeavor. Academic staff and university structures support you step by step, so enhancement comes easy. And there's so many platforms on the web. Project Gutenberg, I know, is a huge resource that I use. When it comes to studying, having a routine helps a lot. It seems harder at first, but it gets better with practice. You organize your time and use it effectively. Which means, don't just say, I'm going to study today for two hours, but uh, think of what you want to get out of those two hours. A really great thing that I like to do, this is a good tip, set yourself up for success early. Revisions start on the first day of your course. If you're using a resource, cite it immediately. It makes it so much easier. And what I found is now when I'm going to write my final paper for a class, I already have half the work done. Well, not really half the work done, but I have some of the work done. Focusing on what you have achieved instead of what still needs to be done can be an effective motivational trick when you're feeling overwhelmed. Please try to use active revision techniques. Don't just reread your notes passively. Summarize them, make bullet points, make maps, diagrams, make a video. And another very important active revision technique is test yourself. I found what's really helpful is taking notes on the readings while I'm reading it and jotting down things that stood out to me, things I found important, things I want to discuss and bring up, and write down the page number. Divide bigger tasks into small goals that are easier to accomplish. Another thing when you're studying is find a space that works to help you focus. I also like to have some quiet classical music on. The other thing is have snacks. I personally prefer stuff like fruit because that brightness gives me a nice little burst of energy when I'm writing or when I'm reviewing. The most important thing though is, which I sometimes forget, is drink water. <laughs> so crucially important for your body, for your mind, for your mental and physical health. Variation is also useful. When you grow tired of a certain subject, take a break and then start with another course or a different lecture. If you feel like you need some help, you come to us, to Academic Learning Development. We are there to help you. One notable difference is the focus on employability, which has afterwards a great impact on your professional life. At Westminster, you will find a top employability support, which is available for even after you graduate. Probably the biggest difference was actually had to do with picking classes. I'm very used to the liberal arts school where, you know, you're like able to pick and choose your classes. But then coming here, they said, here's your course, here are your classes, here are your tutors, this is what your term is. But it ended up turning out really well. I found that being able to focus on my coursework has allowed me to really hone into you know, what I'm doing and why I'm here and why I'm getting this degree. You will attend lectures and seminars. In the lecture, you go to primarily listen to the lecture and take notes. In the seminar, seminars take place in small groups. You uh, discuss with your peers, you ask and answer questions. So it's much more of uh, an occasion for interaction. I also appreciate the student-oriented teaching style, as well as the variety of events and society available at Westminster. In the UK, you don't go to university to uh, gain knowledge passively listening but you go to university to consolidate and use knowledge. Independent study is a central characteristic of university life. It takes a while to adapt to this new style, but once you do it, 
it actually boosts your confidence in what you can achieve on your own. Well, the University of Westminster is very organized to uh, offer support. If you need help with a visa and funding, you go to student advice. Definitely make sure that you communicate everything you need to to the admissions team and to the visa team. And if there's anything you're not sure about, try asking the course leader for your course. You know, they're really gonna be there to try to help you as much as they can. If you need help with um, improving your academic skills, your academic writing, then you can come to us, Academic Learning Development. Whenever I had a difficulty, I felt supported by the university. The first person to reach is your personal tutor, who can give you advice on how to tackle your problem. We offer one-to-one uh, -one appointments and uh, uh, workshops. The university also has a counselling service, which you can access when you feel overwhelmed. You're put with people who maybe you're unfamiliar with, you have to learn how to communicate and get a job done. It's such a great insight into the real world. You know, when you work for a company, oftentimes you're gonna be put on, you know, group projects. You're gonna depend on other people to get a project or task complete. I've never met my peers before, and suddenly we're having to communicate and put together a literary journal all on our own. Again, it's such a challenge, but it's really, really great. I found group work the most demanding activity in university life. Contrary to what you would expect, it actually involves a lot more effort than individual activities. All right, so those are all my tips, tricks of the trade, life hacks. I hope that you found them helpful and we hope to see you at the University of Westminster.